Welcome back, everyone. We are back with a big weekend event. The Music for Life concert is tomorrow at Forsyth Park, all for a very good cause. Now, LifeLink of Georgia is reminding us the need is very great for minority organ donors. Now, joining us this morning to tell us all about it is Amanda Hollowell, Education Specialist with LifeLink of Georgia. Amanda, thank you so much for being here this morning. We thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you guys for having us. Well, first of all, tell us a little bit about what LifeLink of Georgia does. LifeLink of Georgia actually facilitates the recovery and transplantation of organ, eye, and tissue donation for the state of Georgia. Okay. We also have an education branch, which is what I do, mm -hmm. um, and several others around the state, giving information out about the benefits of becoming an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Okay. Now, Music for Life is a big weekend event coming up this weekend and of course it's going to be fun for the whole family lots of music raffles uh, you know just everything you can really think of mm -hmm. but what's the real purpose in it all the real purpose is that we have a health fair component and we also are going to um, strive to actually get a hundred people don't um, registered as new organ donors this wow. weekend wow. so it's a, it's a great need we're really trying to make it a fun mm -hmm. light event but we're going to provide a lot of great information provide a lot of great community services and hopefully people will be motivated to become registered organ donors yeah and you know we have a lot of charity events right here in Savannah but I feel like organ donation is something you don't hear as much about and it really does affect Georgians um, how so well nationally there's about 121,000 people on the waiting list but mm -hmm. in the state of Georgia there's 4,300 wow. and um, on that list about half of them are African-American mm -hmm. so the impact is great the need is there and mm -hmm. we really want to dispel those myths and get people out there and, and actually ex ask them to become the gift exactly and in as you mentioned African-Americans are impacted in a pretty unique way um, some of the diseases that are, cause a need for organ donation, um, organ transplants, they're affected most. Tell us a little bit about their need for, mm -hmm. for that. African Americans are about 17 times more likely to end up with um, kidney failure mm -hmm. or um, and hypertension. And these are all effects of diabetes, and so type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. So it's constantly, you know, an education about health and prevention methods, but it's also, you know, there's people on dialysis now mm -hmm. who are patiently waiting for someone. And, and it's having those open conversations with people with what are you going to do, would you consider it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for someone who, who is kind of on the fence about organ donation and, and saying, yes, I want to be an organ donor, if that, if that situation ever arose, what would you say to them? How does it truly, you know, what can it do for another person? You can save up to eight lives if you become an organ donor. Wow. And you can enhance over 20 through tissue and um, eye donation. So we're trying to get people to understand that part of it mm -hmm. all. You know, there's a lot of um, misconceptions out there. There's mm -hmm. a lot of, like, personal beliefs that are, are, you know, built from misconceptions. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a small percentage of people who actually qualify to be organ donors. So okay. it's a numbers game. So okay. we need more people on the, on the registry to help those people who are on the waiting list. Okay, well it's a great cause, we're really excited about it. Let's take a look at all the information for Music for Life happening this Saturday. It's tomorrow, Forsyth Park from five until nine o'clock tomorrow night. Most important thing, admission is free. So everybody come on out. And um, like Amanda was saying, a great need for organ donors, especially minority organ donors. So come on out and at least get educated, learn about it, and have a good time while you're at it. Yep. Yep. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. And uh, it time now is 727. Straight ahead, a look at your top stories. And Jonathan has your weekend weather. Stay with us.